What is up awesome people? And welcome back to my Pokemon trading card game card opening series. So in the last two episodes we've opened up we've opened up the Froakie deck. So there's our friend Froakie and his other friend Chespin. So we've had a water fairy deck, we've had a grass and sorry water and steel deck, I'll start again and Grass and Fairy, and which leads us now to probably my favourite combination and again, my favourite um, evolution line and starter Pokemon from 6th generation, Finnegan, who has a Fire and Dark combination deck. So for those who know me really, really well, will know that I'm a big fan of Dark type Pokemon and I love the Dark um, type cards. A lot of the cards from the Darks, um, Dark Pokemon are actually really, really strong. Um, E.g. would be like Ivantal. Uh, one they used to use back in 5th gen was Crocodile, which was a really, really good card. Um, he was really, really awesome to use, and again, he was another Dark-type Pokemon. One of the reasons why I actually made a Dark-type um, deck back then as well. Um, there's so many other examples for like really good Dark-type dark cards, and as you can tell, I cannot talk at the moment, which is nothing um, but normal. <laughs> Alright, so again, I've got enough... Ironically, my favourite is absolutely, like, decimated. I don't know if it's because of the how long it's been since I actually got these cards in the mail, but I do know when I actually got them in the mail, um, as the story would tell, uh, go, I bought these on eBay for five bucks, so I got what I paid for, a completely ten box. So, <laughs> I guess that's one of the downsides of buying from eBay. You can always get a good chance of being getting something like this. But the cards inside are still fine, which is awesome, because I would not be happy if they weren't. Um, these are quite hard to come across too. Um, and the reason why I bought them on eBay, because 30 bucks for one of these for a half deck is a little bit uh, outrageous. Um, 20 bucks for a theme deck is how much you pay for that here, but 30 bucks for one of these, no thanks. Um, unless the cards were gold plated, I would not pay it. But that's how it goes with ta tax and GST here in Oz. It's just ridiculous how much you pay. Um, Ten bucks went to, the, I swear, to the packaging. But anyways, um, 60 cards inside of here. We have one card checklist, one metallic coin, which is right there. Um, two player play mat and rule sheet. Bonus black and white booster pack, which will be the uh, um, legendary treasures. One deck box, which will be our Fennekin deck box. Damage counters and one code to play this on the trainer challenge on the Pokemon trading card game online. Sweet. So, ah, there it is. There's always like a trick to opening these. Um, there's our damage counters, so the old paper stuff. Um, I have, along with the damage counters, these will be the next thing I've got so many of. I think, like, mine are still in pretty good condition because I don't use them. Um, but, the metallic ones you get from the Trainer Elite boxes, I am so hoping they release a lot more than um, Trainer Elite boxes because they're so handy to have. But um, overall, the Trainer Elite boxes just absolutely kick ass and worth the 30 bucks. Um, not one of these things. Like as I said, 30 bucks for this in comparison to a Trainer Elite box, which is 30 bucks as well. I just don't see where they're coming from. But anyways, away from like how much things cost outside of the internet. Um, there's our play mat. Um, I've moved everything. And there's our checklist, so um, at the end of this episode, actually, I will be going through and showing you what the actual collection looks like. The 35, 39 cards for this entire thing. So, as I said, for those people who have played the old version of the trading card game from either 4th gen or 5th gen, and just starting to get into the 6th gen, uh, this would definitely be a good read. But really all the new um, changes really are is the fairy type Pokemon. I think Pokemon Catcher apparently is being mentioned here. Um, oh no, the change now requires a coin flip, whereas before you didn't need a coin flip, which was made this thing really strong. But they've now balanced it out a little bit, and you now need to flip a coin, which can be quite annoying if you don't flip the heads. Uh, Professor Juniper and Professor Sakamore, um, there are no function changes to these cards. You may need to include them in both your deck. Uh, both in your deck, you may need to have up to four copies of Professor Juniper or up to four copies of Professor Sakamore. But if any Professor Juniper cards in your deck, you may not put a Professor Second War cards in your deck and vice versa. Alright. So since, um, I don't know if any more people are aware, but you can have up to four copies of a card, but they become illegal after a certain amount of um, expansions. So Professor Juniper is actually still legal at the moment because it was in the recent, uh, well, the more later end black and white cards. So 
They're still legal, with Professor Sycamore being the exact same effect as Professor Juniper. Uh, they're going to allow a rule to cover that at the moment, which is actually, I quite like that rule. Um, so it's not quite, like, it doesn't make it OP or anything, but um, I only just read that then, but I wasn't actually aware of that rule. Um, it shows how much 6th gen I've been playing. Um, so, of course, the checklist, and as I explained before, green is Chessman deck, red is the Fennekin deck, and blue is the Froakie deck, which is kind of self-explanatory, but there it is. Um, 39 cards in the overall collection. This is actually only a half deck, and it's got some really good trainer cards in it too, so it's definitely worth the pickup if you haven't already, or if you um, missed out, you might be able to get a few trades, but... Um, without a doubt, those cards featured in this will pop up, pop up in the theme decks later on as well, uh, which is a good chance of that happening. All right. So, there's our Fennekin coin. I do love this coin. Red and black metallic coins work so well. I love it. All right, so that's the Fennekin metallic coin, along with his redemption card. For the trainer challenge for the Pokemon Training Card Game Online client. And of course, to finish off, we have the expansion uh, <sighs> Legendary Treasures Booster Pack as well. So I'll open at the end of the episode as well as a um, just going through a look at the collection as well. Alright, so I'll put that over there, put that down there. Alright, so the, here's our three foils we got Fedekin, Braxkin, and Delphox. So Del Fox uh, had a really good one again in the X and Y uh, booster pack collection. Well, the X and Y expansion, which was X Y one, hell good card. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I have actually used that card myself. So if I was, um, I did mention about going into a um, trading card competition up in our capital city for um, Western Australia, which I won't be doing, um, thanks to work getting in the road, plus Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire coming out in a couple of weeks afterwards. Um, but if I was going to enter, Del Fox deck may have been the way to go for me, I reckon. Um, or a Greninja deck. Um, if you look back two episodes back, you would see how good that card actually is. All right, so Fennekin. Um, Fennekin, basic card. Again, it's got that one fire energy, uh, one fire. Okay, I'm gonna start again because I can't talk. Um, one fire energy card needed for scratch, which is gonna deal 10 damage. Great opening there and great early game. And live coal dealing 20. It's kind of almost like a um, typical Fennekin card there, or typical fire type card anyway. Um, Braskin is a stage one. Uh, going for base 20, I think. Base 20 with fire breathing and got a maximum of 20 damage if you flip ahead. Or flame tail for three um, energy cards requiring one fire energy and a double colorist maybe for 60 or um, two energy cards, many type if you don't have that. That's an alright stage one card, I suppose. There is a lot better than that. And of course, Del Fox. Del Fox, as I said, there's one better than this. Uh, will o Wisp for 30, no extra effect, which is kind of annoying. And Fire Blast for 120, which means you've got to discard all your cards. Usually, I uh, discard an energy card from this Pokemon, which is not really what you want sometimes. Um, as I said, there is a lot better Del Fox card than that, but that is still pretty decent. Um, that would actually work in a Blacksmith deck running with a Charizard, probably, um, to get back your Eddie discarded Fire energy cards. So unless you want to run that way, that that could possibly work as well. All right, so let's get into the meat and meat and potatoes of this. And I missed one. All right, dark energy cards is another thing that I'm uh, surprisingly lackluster of. I don't know if because I'm using a dark deck or what's up with that, or I just haven't got any dark cards throughout my entire collection time, but. Um, when I was deck building up my dark deck, I had nearly had was in a position where I had to actually go to a supplier and buy more dark cards um, because of how lackluster I was. I've only got 15, so it's very surprising. So this is going to help. Um, fire energy, fire energy. We've got a normal Delph Fox there. We've got fire energy, Pansia, Slugma, dark energy, Braxkin. I. Uh, Poochietta! Haha! <laughs> I've not seen a Poochietta card in so long. I don't think 5th gen had any. 
So it is absolutely awesome to see a Puccina card pop up, which means there better be a Mighty Eater card in this deck. If there is, I'm gonna go absolutely hypo. Uh, Fire Energy, Finnegan, Pokeball. I just saw it then. Yes, the beast is in here! Mighty Eater! Haha! <laughs> Yes, my favorite Pokemon is in here. Unfortunately, it's not a hard hitting card, regardless of what card it is. Hard Bite, 40 base damage, doing a max of 20, if you uh, extra 20, doing 60 at max if you flip ahead. So, that ain't too bad, I suppose. Um, unfortunately, he's outclassed by so many other dark ca type cards. I'd probably just bring that for a basic dark card anyway. Um, but yeah, Mani Ina, I have not seen you in so long. Nice to see you. Um, Dark Energy, another Poochiana card. We have a fur through there. Um, the, like, again, a lot of these cards are outclassed by the cards in the X and Y expansion. But I suppose with this being a starter set, you can't really expect anything too amazing. Um, Fire Energy, Inkay, another Fire Energy, Dark Energy, Pokeball, uh, Braxkin, Fire Energy, Fletching, Dark Energy, Switch, Fennekin, uh, Darkest Energy, Pokeball, Pokemon Catcher. So this is the Fennekin exclusive, whereas uh, the Crushing Hammer was Freaky exclusive. I can't remember what the Chespin exclusive was, but um, this one is a, quite a good card, especially um, early game. Flip a coin if head switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or her active Pokemon. Again, this one didn't need to flip a coin originally, um, but 6th gen has changed that to balance it out, and now it's not as strong as it used to be, which is... Good and bad in some ways, depending on how you look at it, I suppose. If you're the one using it, it's a bad thing. If you're on the receiving end, it's a good thing, because you've got a 50-50 chance of it not working. But yeah, Pokemon Catcher. Fire Energy, Poochiana, Tiramo, Pe uh, Darkness Energy, Pansia, Fire Energy, Slugma, Pokeball, Darkness Energy, Mariana, Fire Energy, Darkness Energy, Furfru, Inkay, Fire Energy, Fletching, Darkness Energy, Switch, Fennekin, Fire Energy, Pokemon Catcher, Poochiana, Darkness Energy, Braxkin, Tiramo, and Darkness Energy. Sweet. There may have been a small amount of Darkness Energy, but that's kind of all you really need for a competitive deck, really, but that's definitely going to help me a lot. I still can't believe I have 15 Darkness Energy. Um, oh, I know why I've got so little... Yeah, it, it's now all coming back. Um, darkness, uh, there's a few darkness energies in the half decks, which are actually in a folder, which I'll show you a little bit um, from now, actually. All right, so I'm gonna put those there. And finally, just turning this little bit off, we have a Legendary Treasures booster pack. And this is a Mewtwo one. This, this is actually the booster pack I like from Legendary Treasures. This is just kick-ass, like that black and gold contrast. Oh, you just can't beat it. I actually don't want to open it. Oh well. Rip it open. <sighs> Such a good feeling. So, of course, we've got the redemption card for it. Um, oh, goodness. Looking at them, I've just got to find my other ones I haven't redeemed and all the other ones I have not redeemed or opened up yet on the actual client. So that's going to be fun. Uh, we have Natsu, Dwebble. We have Krogant, Gothita. We have Ralts as Reverse Hollow. We have Fioni as the rare, a Mulga from Radiant Collection, so uh, it's just like a kick in the balls there. I, I don't like the Mulga because of bad experience with it, um, with the heart, love hearts around it. Ugh. I mean, a Mulga is a cool poke, but with all the bad experiences I had, I don't like it. But that's, don't liking it as not in appearance wise, but just with, you know what I mean. Um, Teddy Ursa and Zwilius as well as the same light to finish it off. All right, so that was some cool cards. All right, so uh, one thing I wanted to do just to wrap up the Chaos Starter Collection was uh, looking at the actual collection itself. All right, so hopefully I've got enough room to do this. Um, it's gonna be quite hard because I've got limited space here. I'm just gonna put these in here. All right. So let's see how good I go doing this live. I'm um, just going to move those as well. Actually, I'm going to put those in there. 
All right. Okay. Okay, so this is where I've been putting all the cards. Is in this awesome little black folder. I've got a black folder for a lot of the collections, and I'm so pedantic with these folders. Like as soon as they get dirty, they get washed. Uh, that's I, I don't know if that's normal, but I think for collect hardcore collectors like myself, I think it is normal. Oh, that's not the one. That's for the other one. That's the empty folder. This is the one I had on the floor. All right. So this is where they've all been kept, and just be careful not to knock everything. So as you can see, there's the start of the chessman deck. Uh, Poppy Ball. All right, so we need Braxton, Poochiana, Pokemon Catcher, Finnegan, uh, which we don't need, Fletching, Inkay, Furfury, Moniina, Slugma, Pansia. Don't need that. Just gonna quickly just go through these, just get them all ready. Usually I don't need this live, so this is gonna be quite interesting. Don't need that one. Let's do that. Alright, so I know I don't need those. Alright, so I'm just gonna... Actually, I might have to do it this way. Wee! Alright, so hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so Weedle, Pansage, uh, Chessman, Quilladin, Chestnut. So number 10 is Del Fox. So there's something before that. Alright. Uh, where are we? Five... Really, you're seven? Okay. Alright, so Pansier is down there. Slugma at number six. Braxkin's number nine. Right, Poochie. Right, Fennekin there. And was that? We had the hollows as well. So Fennekin hollow, which I'm gonna slip just behind there. Braxkin hollow. Again, sit behind there. So that's the first page, the first nine cards from the collection. Which leads us on to... Oh, oh goodness. Just do that. Okay, so now you can see both sides. That's awesome. So the hollows are on this side. So we've got the hollow for Chespin, Quilladin, and Chestnut, as well as the Fennekin, oh, Fennekin and Braskin card. So which leads me to number 10, which is there. Bit hard working upside down at the moment. So the normal one goes up top, hollow down the bottom, and hopefully I put that in. Yep. Okay, so number so Delphox, Pants, Paw, Froakie, Frogadier, Greninja, Clauncher, which is number 15, which leads just next to Poochiana and Mightyana sitting at 16 and 17. I can't get it in the hole. There we are. Sometimes they just slip in, but sometimes they don't. And that was a good case of it not. So don't need that one. So next one is 18, which is NK, which leads us next complete page. So um, nice, interesting color variation there. And then on the back, we've got our Del Fox Hollow. We've got our Froakie Hollow up here, Frogadier and Green Ninja Hollow as well. And that one is also complete as well. That's from Chespin and Froakie alone. And then now we're on this page, we've got 33, what do you use? 30, 31, 32, 33. So Fletching and the other fur fruit would go there. 31. Pokemon Catcher, we need you. Uh, where are we? Fur fruit, 32. All right, so Pokemon Catcher was next with 36, 35. I can't get it in. This is annoying. 36. 37, 38, 39. Alright, so that was the entire, entire collection. Um, so just quickly going back over it. So there was a start. Uh, I'm not going to rename all of them. Hollows as well. Your normals there as well. More hollows. More normals. And nothing special here now. Lots of logos and more cards. And there's the end of it. That's the entire Kalos um, starter collection. So all 39 cards in all their glory. And as well as that, we've got the other half decks I've gotten. So that was back in 5th uh, gen. That was the Extra Drill and Zorak deck right here. I was quickly flicky. Um, I've actually set it up like this because there was no 
uh, repeating cards, I don't think, or I've just set it up really differently, but there would have been a normal of that, but I set things up weirdly all the time. And then, of course, we had uh, the Neuvern and Slivion deck, or Sylveon deck, on here as well. I not long opened up that one, actually. That's somewhere on my channel. And yeah, that's so far all the half decks that we've had. Um, there should be another half deck coming out for Furious Fist. I can't remember if I've got that one or not, but chances are I have. Um, so keep an eye out for that one as well. But that's so far all the half decks that we've had um, a hold of. So yeah, um, that's it for this episode. And that's it for the Kalos Starter Collection as well. So as a recap, we've had the Froki. Chespin, and finally we've had the Fennekin deck um, for the last three episodes, and that's what makes up the Chaos Starter Deck collection, just those three alone. And as I said, um, half decks haven't really been all that interesting. Um, usually it's just one pack with two half decks inside with 30 cards. Um, these are actual decks that, well, decks themselves, but the actual collection themselves is as big as a half deck. Um, as I said, interesting in all its glory. Um, hopefully they bring up more of those. Um, I don't know if they'll do it for Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire or if they'll do it for the next um, seventh, seventh, no, can't even say it, seventh gen um, collection as well. Who knows what they're going to do, but I do hope we see more of types of these. Um, it's pretty cool. So yeah, um, next episode. Not too sure what we're doing. But regardless, I hopefully shall see you guys there. And as always, thank you so much for uh, taking the time out of your day to... Um, check out this video. So until the next episode, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!